<laughs> Happy holidays! Happy holidays to our listeners here at Tool World. I'm your host, David Jew, and I'm here with Master Jew. How's it going there, Mr. Jew? It's going okay. There's no snow out here. It's there's cold, never any, There's never any <laughs> snow out here. No. <laughs> sometimes you see a little dusting on the hills. Yeah, that's true. So we say hills. We don't say mountains. <laughs> we don't have any mountains. Well, maybe we do. I don't know. Not, really. Not around here, anyway. No. <laughs> Anyways, today um, we're going to keep it a little bit casual because we should be coming up to the Christmas. I think Christmas. we always do it casually. No, I mean casual as in it's kind of about Taekwondo, but not, not like a lot about no, Taekwondo. No, it's always, I mean, it's about, always taekwondo. about Taekwondo. Oh, come on. Um, <laughs> what we were talking about this recently at home was um, just hobbies in general because we were like, oh, if we go snowboarding, not that I snowboard or ski. You have, yeah. you have expensive I, hobbies. What? How many cameras do you have? Two. Two. Okay. Well, that's a hobby. <laughs> <laughs> and then our video camera, that's like work. Video camera, camcorder. <laughs> <clears throat> whatever. And I have lots of hobbies. And you have well. lots of hobbies. No, I don't too. have a lot of hobbies. No. I have, uh, well, yeah, kind of. Collecting shoes. You know cycling. what? You know what hobby is not expensive? What hobby is not expensive? Taekwondo. 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 Okay. Taekwondo. I, I go, Is that a oh, hobby? Yeah, it's Is a taekwondo hobby. Ho- no, no, no. Yeah, taekwondo is a hobby when you want to no. go into the studio and go work out. Taekwondo is a way of life. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> hobby. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think you get, your point is well taken. You know, when you think about like the different activities that are available mm-hmm. to people, right? Mm-hmm. And Taekwondo in, um, is an activity, for sure. It is a way of life, for sure. Is it a hobby? Yeah, it could be a hobby as well, you know. But if I want to go practice Taekwondo in the park, that costs me Zero. nothing. Zero. Cost me nothing. I mean, you could say the same for a lot of games, too. But in a competitive sense, I don't think Taekwondo is as much as other things. True. I mean, you think about, like, well, golfing is a very expensive hobby. Right. You know, you got the... Uh, well, I don't, I don't go golfing, so I don't know. <laughs> I think you have a, a golf fee. You know, what do they call it? Course fee? Yeah. Then you got to buy all that equipment, which can't be cheap. Mm-hmm. Especially when you need that Tiger Woods club mm-hmm. or something, right? You got to get the shoes. Mm-hmm. Got to get the outfit as well. Yeah, Got to get true. that hat or the visor. Mm-hmm. Which one do you wear? I'm not sure. I don't know. It all adds up. I wonder right. how much that th- does cost. I don't know. Obviously, you can see that this podcast <laughs> is all about how awesome Taekwondo <laughs> is and how affordable Taekwondo is. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I think uh, when you think about all these different activities, some, are, some people may not think Taekwondo is fun, but for, uh, for me anyway, maybe for you, mm-hmm. Oh, we kind of think of it as fun. Yes. And um, we just do it. We, we, like, we enjoy doing it, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, but there are so many other benefits to do it. And if there's any activity that, I, in my opinion, I think people should do martial art. Mm-hmm. Um, for right. the main reason, mostly for, like, if anything, worst case scenario, self-defense. Mm-hmm. You know? Right. It may, you may not be able to defend yourself, but it might give you a, a slight edge Mm -hmm. a slight chance yeah you know recently we also had another student who said that he lost a lot of weight right in taekwondo which is awesome you can do that by starving yourself as well yes that's true (laughs) (laughs) but why not do an activity that gives you uh, self-defense skills Mm -hmm. (laughs) striking skills yeah right right lose weight that's Mm -hmm. a big benefit there's a lot of benefit there is a lot of benefit for taekwondo Mm -hmm. right right the gift of giving. The gift of giving. And so let's, let's take a look back at some things that you really enjoyed for 2022. And, you know, we did a lot of new things this year, a lot of new events and travel for competitions. I don't know if I can go back that far. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's true. 2022, uh, we'll, we went to Amsterdam for the World Championship. After a couple years, mm-hmm. that was great. We did, um, let's see, we had our summer camp. That was fun. Mm-hmm. Um, just coming off of that 
lockdown stuff and being able to do taekwondo again in the regular setting that's uh, that's pretty cool mm -hmm. in a way and for sure because of um covid i mean i hate to keep talking about covid <laughs> but it has uh, changed our lives in many ways mm -hmm. not not the illness itself but um technology look we're doing stuff like this we're doing right. the i mean we did podcasts actually before mm -hmm. um before um, that happened we've been doing that but we've kind of expanded it and you can see the way um businesses operate you know you order your food online and you pick it up and you're ready to go or whatever mm -hmm. um right. you don't have to go to the store till, as much a lot of stuff is bought online and we, we're doing something similar to that using right. technology a little bit more technology and taekwondo right you know what i was thinking about the other day was it's really awesome in this last year is to see how some of the students have changed a little bit mm. um i was looking at one of one of the students and i was like wow he's gotten really good recently right and um he's probably been practicing no he has been practicing a lot. <laughs> <laughs> but you can see that with a lot of the students it's like wow i remember just six months ago eight months ago and they how far they've good. really come you know and and that's one of the benefits about taekwondo yeah well i think when you look at maybe six months ago eight months ago a lot of the training was kind of done online mm -hmm. you know they're not really in class so you can't have that that um, correction going on yeah um and the mere fact that just train 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 we we at our studio allow our students to go basically every day so the more training you get the better they get gotta have that opportunity right and this year we've also started, um, we've always kind of had our own little tournament team, but this year we really kind of geared it up um, because we do have some color belts and we're all interested in going to the uh, World Cup in 2023. Um, and I think that's also a really big game changer for some of the students too. Yeah, they, they're excited, I think. They're really excited. You know, and so, they're willing to come out eight o'clock in the morning on Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but we, we've kind of also had some uh, guest kind of coaches, too. Right. We got Federico to come out. He, did, uh, he led our first kind of little training together. And then we got my sister to come out, which With was once in, a, once in a lifetime. <laughs> Both of them are four-time world champions, by the way. Right. Is that right? Federico? No. Both are three-time three, three -time world champions. Gold medal world champions. Gold medal. That's correct. Although Catherine... Just missed the gold on that water one. Yes, that's true too. And President Chase says, <laughs> that's just to bring this up, it's funny. It's kind of funny because we're watching and I was sitting with President Chase and watching Catherine compete. And um, he goes, oh, gold medal right there. And then they raised the other person's hand. It's like, oh, silver, same as gold. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I said, yes, sir. <laughs> You know what else we also did um, that was really exciting was the summit. Yeah. Oh, gosh, we, 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 did, we did a lot. We did a lot. We did yeah. a lot. And we have a lot planning going on in mm -hmm. 2023, though. Yeah. And those online, they don't know about our summer camp, but that was also our second year. We did a summer camp, too. That's right. Uh, but that's year. mostly Jews Taekwondo, but anybody is um, open to come. We, we, op we allow anyone to yeah. come to any of this stuff. It's really nice. It's out. I'm going to plug it here because we're <laughs> setting up for 2023. We got... Uh, we actually got to Sh Lake Shasta. Yeah. And uh, no water, but yeah, Mr. Sproggins are one of hosts us, and it's a really nice place. It's glamorous camping and some cabins. Yeah, and we did other stuff other than regular taekwondo, like mm -hmm. nunchuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we had padded nunchucks <laughs> for them to play with. What right. else? A little grappling going on there. Yeah. Yeah. And of course, a little shooting. <laughs> that's only it for those that, yeah, you know. Of course. <laughs> um, and that was really our 2023. So we've added some new things to the plate, and we've also taken some things from 2021, and then I think they were a little bit better this year. What's that? Like the summer camp. Mm, oh, no, yeah, yeah. Well, was a little always, bit better. Well, hopefully you always improve. Right. And so yeah. hopefully in 2023, it's going to be even better. 
That's right. Uh, summer camp again, and for those of you guys that are going to join us in Hawaii for the summit. That's right. Yes. Um, but do you have any final thoughts about 2022 or, you know, anything? Closing out 2022. Just glad that um, we're actually kind of back to normal. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Right. And uh, we look forward to a better 2023. Happy holidays, everybody. Merry Leave us Christmas. a comment. Oh, that's not politically correct. It's happy holidays now. Oh, okay. Happy Hanukkah. Happy you you could just go through all of them, yeah. Happy Diwali. That was, happy... I think that was last month. Oh, that was last month. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, happy holidays. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, hope you guys have a great holiday season. We'll see you guys back in 2023. Don't forget to be safe. Keep training. We'll see you guys next time. Take one.